Hello, this is TikTok and welcome to Beatbox.Guru. This year's World Championships had very strong American representation. So right now I'm talking to female Beatbox World Champion Kyla Milady. Enjoy! This is cake, 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 This is a huge shout out, shout out, shout out to the beatbox guru. Kyla. Yes. Congratulations on you winning the female competition. Thank you. The 2015 World Championships. Woo. Hi. A big step in your career, right? Yeah, it's crazy, man. All Very right, crazy. Cool. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I don't think it's sinking in yet. I still am looking around like, where am I right now? Yeah. Um, I've been beatboxing since I was like 10. My whole life, essentially. So, so six years, yeah, at least. Oh, yeah, like two <laughs> years, you know. Um, like turning 13 soon. Um, right. Yeah, so I just never expected any of this to be anything. Um, and I'm just so grateful that I've gotten to meet so many beautiful people and go to so many beautiful places, all because of this amazing art form that I just i have always had a passion for. So how's the young, uh, so how is, this, how is the situation for uh, young people trying to starting a beatboxing thing in New York currently? Because obviously New York is known for the yeah. old school uh, beatboxers, also Kid Lucky and, and uh, many, many others. Yeah. And uh, how is it for the, new, the, the beginners, the newbies? It's good, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities, but you have to be a hard worker, especially with beatboxing. I mean, anything in New York City, you have to work hard. It really is. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. But especially with beatboxing, because even though it started in New York City and it is very known, the world, and I feel it this way for the whole world, doesn't really know what beatboxing is yet. They still think it's kind of like... Um, they don't think of it as beatboxers, as composers, or like true vocalists. So there's really good opportunities, but you have to work really hard. And you have to show people in the city that you are a good beatboxer. And if you want to get jobs and you want to get gigs, it's all up to you. You can't wait for anything to happen in life. You have to put in all the work to make it happen yourself. Okay. What do you think was the main trend, uh, the dominating trend during these world champs? Musicality. Originality. Style. Um, I think the cool thing about beatboxing now is too, the world's level is every, it's like every month just getting crazier and crazier every year, woo, mind blowing. But now because of that, everyone can do the same things. Uh, we all can do sounds, um, technicality, everyone can kind of do that now. It's kind of boring um, to hear people just uh, there's not heart and soul into it. And I think what's really happening now, and it's a really beautiful push, is that beatboxers are becoming original, really coming up with pieces and uh, becoming more just artists, real artists. Um, yeah, I think the people that stood out to me the most were the people who really had interesting, unique sets that didn't sound like anybody else. Okay, nice. Tell me about your uh, beat rhyming career and how it started, all right? Yeah, so um, beat rhyming is when you take words, uh, singing, poetry, rap, and just theater, and you put it together with beatboxing. So essentially, you can talk and beatbox at the same time, and there is no difference. So, if I buy, quick beat down, cool the rhythm, cool the sound, yep, yep, you feel it, yep, yep, you feel it, yep. So when I talk, you can hear the whole sound. There's no separation. Um, Beatboxing started, uh, or beat rhyming started from Kid Lucky, who is my mentor and my brother. Um, he made me such a good performer, and I have so much respect for him. He um, He's kind of cultivated a lot of the American scene, and he's kind of made the American scene so musical. He really stuck to everyone's guns, like be original, sing, learn scatting, learn rapping, learn every vocal style. Um, so about three years ago, I met him because he was doing all the shows in New York City. And I went to the American 2012 American Human Beatbox Festival. 
and at that time I just broke my back and I couldn't work so one after that show he asked me to come into the city to street perform and we ended up just talking all day he was telling me about beat rhyming and for me I'm also an actress so I never rapped and I didn't sing before I met Kid but when he told me that I was like I was it seems like a no-brainer to me. It's like Beatbox 2.0, and I wanted to use it because if I learned how to talk while I beatbox, I can make theater shows out of it. Um, I could create, uh, you know, pieces. So I started working with him a lot, and um, I'm so grateful for it because it opens you up as a performer. There are no limits. I can do whatever. I can put on two-hour-long shows if I want, going from beatboxing to singing to rapping and incorporating it. Um, and it's really cool too because the audience really connects to it. You know, if you go to a show and if I'm going it's a language that the audience cannot speak. So if they leave, they can't sing along with it. It can't be stuck in their head. But if I just go simply like come on, you feel the ocean rising. Come on, we move in with the tides and um, even if that's the only part that I do in the set, they can go home and they're come on, I feel the ocean rising. And I think that really is gonna, what's gonna, I think that beat rhyming is revolutionary for beatboxing. I think that all beatboxers should try to learn every vocal style, scatting, tube and throat singing, whistling, rapping, singing, poetry, because it really does make you so versatile. And the range of audiences that you can work with, uh, the way that you connect with audiences is so different. Um, anytime I beatbox, I can do the most craziest sounds ever in the entire world. But when I get off stage, I'm like, and when you use the words, oh my God, because that was something that they could actually understand. Um, yeah, so normally in New York City, that's just what I do. Um, there's not many times that I just do straight beatboxing. It's usually all beat rhyming. Okay. Tell me about your involvement with the New York Mixed Vocal Arts Academy. Mixed Vocal Arts Academy is amazing. Um, Kid Lucky put it together. And Kid Lucky's vision, he's so ahead of his times. Uh, nobody really appreciated beat rhyming in the beginning, but he's, he's just a genius. And he's putting together a school for vocalists and not just singing. Usually, you know, you go to school and there's only chorus. Uh, you go to colleges and they only have certain things for vocalists, but vocalism is um, an infinite scale. If you're, if you're whistling, you're a vocalist. Um, if, even if you're humming, you're a vocalist. Scatters, vocalist. Um, but that isn't taught. And to have this whole range inside of you, as a performer, you can work with any band, you can work with any singer. Uh, you're, you always feel comfortable in the mix. You always can add something to the sounds that are being produced around you. So in New York City, Kid started the Mixed Vocal Arts Academy where he has classes teaching beat rhyming, beatboxing, singing, whistling, tube and throat singing, uh, konoko, vocal ta like vocal tabla, any, any worldwide vocal style that you can imagine. Um, he's starting a school for that and the people that come really enjoy it and they have a lot of fun and the people that do come out of it are monster vocalists, monster vocalists. And I think the beauty of beat rhyming is it's kind of the glue that holds every style together. So if you only like scatting or you only really like tube and throat singing, those are the two that you want. Beatboxing is just the perfect thing to put them together. Now you can produce these shows where you get to pick what vocal style you want to do. Um, really cool and really I'm so happy and honored to be a part of it. Yeah, cool. Um, please tell me if, um, if, you, if there was one advice you could give to the, a beginner a beat rhymer, what would it be? Um, talk slowly. It's a very slow process and be original. Listen to a lot of music and just experiment. That's really it. Um, with beat rhyming, uh, it's not so much a set of like, say B, say T, say K, you know? Um, you have to be original. Just sing in the shower and add some beats along with it. You know, even if it's like, um, oh, I'm taking a shower. Yes, I'm taking a shower. Oh, I'm taking my shower. Oh, sure, it's in my eye. I'm taking a shower. So just start slow, listen to music. If you're trying to learn to, um, and if you're not, uh, you know, if you haven't written your own original stuff yet, try doing covers. Hear a song on the radio, you know, I like the way you work it, no diggity, I got to bag it, bag it up, like the way you work it, no diggity, no diggity, no, no. Um, just start taking covers that you already know and putting it in there. But really experiment. The beauty of beat rhyming is, um, especially with beat rhyming, you know, when beatboxers do certain sounds, Sometimes, uh, if it's all technical, like 
you could sound similar, but beat rhyming, there's literally no possible way for two vocalists to sound the same. Uh, me and you could be doing the same chorus, but because our whole voices are different, totally different energy. Um, so be yourself, come up with your own original stuff, try new things and just see what feels good for you. Because at the end of the day, beat rhyming is, and beatboxing is just soul music. It's complete expression and complete just you. So be you. Okay, thanks very much.